Uh, since the 1980s, Mr. Speaker, as you know, I have consistently raised the question of Germany's increasing dominance in the European Union and also in the European Commission. Our former ambassador to Germany, in his book, recent book, Berlin Rules, states that the EU is and will remain a German Europe. Nine of the, 20, nine of the, nine of the 28 European commissioners have German leaders of their cabinets. There are six German directors general. He says it is Germany's view that she is sought by the Commission before it acts and by other member states before they decide in the Council of Ministers by majority vote behind closed doors. Is this not a grave concern and is it not a reason why we should leave the European Union by the 31st of October? Prime Minister. Can I, can I say to my honourable friend, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. The German, Germany has not had a presidency of the European Commission, I think, for something, something like the 1960s. So I think it's a little bit churlish of him to suggest that uh, we should not have uh, voted for a German commissioner. Um, and can I also point out to him that actually Ursula uh, von der Leyen was born in Brussels. That might make it worse, my honourable friend, than, uh, than the fact that she's from Germany. Uh, but uh, uh, can I also say to him that I think what is important is not only we've seen gender balance, we see a, a geographical spread uh, across, the, uh, across the Commission in terms of the appointments. He talks about us leaving the European Union. I want us to leave the European Union. I voted three times for us to leave the European Union. Had my honourable friend voted with me, we would already be outside the European Union. Ian Blackford.